Welcome to Spalding Square. We're proud to be an HPOZ. That's a historical preservation overlay zone. These small pockets were created in Los Angeles to preserve our city's history, culture, and environment. Most of our homes were built between 1916 and 1925 as affordable housing for the many, many workers being employed in the emerging Hollywood film industry. There were studios popping up all around us and these technicians needed a place to live. And now, a hundred years later, we remain as a tiny sliver that shows the rest of the world what a truly small town Hollywood used to be. So this is one of our most famous houses in Sporting Square. This is a house that Lucille Ball lived here with her family. Moved her family from upstate New York, and there's photographs of them sitting on the front stoop. We all live in the neighborhood, so we know that every day vans come up and down and they stop in front of significant houses. So many people from the silent film era lived in this community. Charlie Chaplin's son lived down the street. It's culturally a significant part of California and of the California film community. This is the home where Walt Disney used to come for dinner on several occasions. Alan Hale Jr., the skipper from Gilligan's Island, lived two doors down, and I knew him quite well. It was a neighborhood for dreamers and still is. Most of the politicians in Sacramento would like to see four condos on each of our lots. They basically want to demolish single family zoning. I think that so much of that has happened and so many of us regret it. And we always think, what were these people thinking when they destroyed all of this beautiful architecture and all this history of the city? So this enclave is not just preserving history, it's also preserving our environment. Absolutely, I mean, we have bees, we have endangered birds, native species, and they all flock to this area. It's like a little oasis in the middle of this concrete jungle. And these luxury developments that they're talking about building, they're gonna go to the property line, which means no grass, no trees, none of the greenery you see around you. So what we're really saying is that if these bills move forward, we will be contributing to an environmental apocalypse California will never recover from. In the rush to try to find housing, I think we have to understand which areas that we should be protecting. There is no shortage of massive developments like the one you see behind me springing up all around Spalding Square. A perfect example are these units which border Spalding Square. They're luxury units that rent for upwards of $6,000 a month. How is that low income? All we're asking for is a little balance. And if these bills pass, this is what Spalding Square will look like. Our history gone just like that. Governor Newsom, please act now to stop this insanity from destroying and reshaping our heritage. Once this moves forward, there's no hitting the reset button. Don't let the destruction of our history be your legacy as governor.